Yo, yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome to this training. I'm super fired up about this training uh, because I have someone that uh, over the last three years or so I've gotten really close to because he's one of those people that is changing the game of real estate, wholesaling specifically, but well beyond that. Um, I have Mr. Robert Wensley with me, founder, CEO, chief everybody uh, to Investor Lift. What's up, bro? What's up, Justin? Thanks for having me on today. Super pumped to hopefully uh, drop some game here for uh, yeah. everyone watching today. Yeah, so uh, my man is in, uh, I think you're in Punta Cana right now? Punta Cana today, yeah. I love that, uh, which is like a 35-minute flight for me, but whatever. We'll talk about that later. So here's the deal. I, you know, I want to be able to continue to give to you guys in just all aspects. I think the biggest challenge we have in our real estate space is finding deals. The second biggest is finding buyers, right? And yeah. I am a, a coach to people that I'm trying to teach them how to be dynamic real estate investors, whether it's wholesale, fix and flip, and uh, uh, buy and hold. But part of the vertical is you must be creating active income. So there's no better way to do that than um, wholesaling. I mean, it just is tried and true. And so I brought Robert on because I wanted everyone to even understand. I, I mean, you would have to be living under a rock at this point if you have not heard of Investor Lift, heard about it, worked with people using it. Um, I personally will sell somewhere between five to 10 deals a month just through Investor Lift just through investor lift out of that i would say half of whatever the number is let's just say it's 10 in a month or it's five in a month half of those deals aren't even mine and i want to highlight that for some people because there are newer wholesalers that went out and they found a deal that i couldn't go find but they don't have access to a product like this they don't have access to 4.4 or 4.6 million buyers at this point robert where, where are we at in the database yeah i think we're we're about to break 4.5 million Pretty much every buyer in America is in there. Right. And so when I'm talking buyers, you know, everyone's talking about hedge funds. They're in there. Um, you know, big box buyers are yeah. in there. Small guys, you know, the mom and pop guys are in there. The turnkey guys are in there. You have the, the you know, again, everybody, including landlords, including people like myself. I'm in there. I get called and text all the time because I am a buyer with a good score in investor lift. And so it's really something that is solved a problem now that we've all had for a really long time. The old school way of doing this, bro, you know, right? Like go to the meetup groups. Uh, you can still go to Facebook groups and all that kind of stuff still works. I don't want to take away from the, the, you know, grit and sweat equity that you got to put into your business. But if you have a platform that you can email from text from, if you're someone like myself, you can have people calling these individuals, Let's just, I'm going to give the, here's what I'll do for everybody out there. I'm going to give the mic over to Robert. I'm going to allow him to actually, I asked him and he's doing me a massive favor here because he's incredibly busy. I asked him if he could just kind of peel the covers back a little bit, like really show the utility of the software because most everyone says, I don't have buyers, Justin, I'm doing this virtually. How do I find buyers in Ohio? I live in Miami. I'm doing this virtually. Um, I don't have time all day to go, you know, network and go to REI meetings and all that. Like, what do I do? Well, I will tell you now, this is very likely the answer to be able to build your buyers list. So with all that said, dude, I'm going to, I'm just going to give this over to you and kind of let you run um, about the power of this machine, right? I mean, I've had it now for, I think, three years. I would tell everyone who is serious in this space, you must have it. Uh, Robert, it, told me he's going to offer a 10% discount for everyone here listening to this and watching this. Um, but we'll get there. Let, let's just expose what's going on, dude. What's this all about, brother? Yeah. So I remember when I first got in the game, what I realized real quick is how much overlooked Dispo is and how if you get Dispo down, it just takes level. Ultimately, Investor Lift is going to do two, two things. Okay, it's going to help you sell your deals faster. And it's going to help you sell them at higher prices. Okay. Um, last month I checked. So the average assignment fee off of Investor Lift. If you ask anyone in the whole science space, you know, they're you know, what do you think the average assignment fee is nationwide? A few people have done surveys and stuff. A lot of people pin it in that like fourteen, fifteen thousand dollar range. 
Uh, last month, the average assignment fee on Investor Lift was uh, $31.9 thousand. Wow. Dollars. That's incredible. So, and that's nationwide. Yeah. So almost twice as much money per deal, right? Yeah. And it's the same steps to do a deal, right? Like acquisitions is where all the time and effort goes. You might be following up. There's people that we followed up with for two fucking years before we actually get the deal. Yeah. And then dispose just a few days. So you're doing all this work up front. And that's where everyone's focused their time and effort and where you do all your sales training and you got all your marketing campaigns and follow-up campaigns and you're doing all this work up front. And then people forget about Dispo and they just sell the deals to the first buyer. And then what happens is they become slave to their buyers, right? They're like, oh, I don't need a Dispo solution. I got 10 buyers, they buy everything. Anytime I hear that from someone, I'm like, okay, you are robbing your team. You are robbing your family and you're robbing yourself if you're doing that because you're becoming an employee of your buyers. Yep. Yeah, of course they're buying everything because you're giving it away. You're putting your buyer's kids through college instead of putting your kids through college, right? And that's what 95% of wholesalers were doing. They were just leaving all the money on the table and just giving stuff to, just giving deals away to buyers, right? Yep. Real value creation in the space. I realized real quick the value the the value creation is in finding the deal. That's when the the the, the most value is created is buying buying cheap, right? And then a lot of times you're actually losing expected value through construction because stuff goes over budget, goes over time. You have high interest rates, like so. The the, the maximum value capture can happen at, at at that initial phase of finding the deal. Um, and, and we're not, we weren't rewarding ourselves for that. Uh, so I realized really quick, there's only two numbers that matter in this business. Number one, what is your return on ad spend? And number two, what is your cash conversion cycle? So investor lift is going to help you sell your deals at higher prices, making more money per deal. And it's going to help you do it faster, mm. much, much, much faster. Okay. So that increases your return on ad spend because you're plugging the same, it's costing the same amount of, of marketing. You know, if you're, if I'm running Google ads and it costs me $5,000 per deal and I'm making $15,000 per deal, I'm only getting three X return on ad spend. Not that great. I still have to cover my overhead sales commissions, all that. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm basically breaking even. Conversely, if I'm making $30,000 per assignment, now I'm getting a six X return on ad spend. Now that sounds a lot sexier. Right now, the business is a lot more interesting. Now I'm actually walking home with some money per deal. Mm -hmm. So uh, just you know, increasing your assignment fee can have a massive, massive impact on your business. And it's just a very small amount of work. Actually, if you do it through Investor Lift, usually it's less work per deal. So you're actually spending. You know, I, I was talking to a guy, Christian Ryerson. He said before Investor Lift, it would take me two weeks to sell a deal. Now I moved everything in two days or less. Mm. Love that. So literally seven X decrease in, in the amount of time that it takes them to move a deal. So you're going to make more money per deals per deal and you're going to do it faster. Okay. And people ask, okay, how, why is that? Okay. First of all, in the speed thing, you're running your entire dispo process through one system. Okay. A lot of people overlook like, like how important it is to just have everything in one system, all your data, all your information, your buyers, all the history on those buyers, all your notes, all your properties, all your inquiries, your offers, all your analytics, your data. Um, the system is constantly monitoring everything and it's monitoring a lot of stuff for you so you don't have to. We're spinning off about a quarter billion data points per month, just tracking all the buyer behavior. Every time a buyer interacts with your deal, all of that's getting tracked and it's getting tracked for you on autopilot. Right. Um, so just having everything in one system, be able to run your whole dispo process A to Z in one system is a huge thing. It's going to save you a lot of time and it's going to make you a lot more organized because all the data and all the information you need to do your job is all in one spot. Okay. Yep. You're not bouncing around between 10 different systems. Number two is we give you a lot of data, right? Like at the level you're on, you got 4.4, 4.5, almost 4.5 million buyers locked and loaded in your account, ready to go. Okay. Um, not every account gets 4.5 just locked and loaded. There's different tiers to it. And we can talk about those. Even on the beginner level, beginner level, God mode, God mode's got every buyer in the country in there. 
you just got to do a little bit of work, you know, skip tracing, but uh, we crowdsource that as well. So as soon, as soon as someone else skip traces a buyer, validates their phone number, everyone else on the network gets it. So mm. like in most major cities, all the top buyers already skip trace and validated for you. You just pop in there and you see verified phone numbers for all the top hedge funds, all the top buyers. Um, and then um, everyone's working together collaboratively as a unit to add more and more and more every day. Um, so it's going to give you a lot more data on buyers. Like instead of having to spend two weeks finding a buyer for a deal, you already have them because the whole way InvestorLift works is everyone's working together to build and maintain like the biggest, um, most powerful buyer database in the world. And because you have access to more buyers, what's going to happen is it's going to drive more demand for your deals. You're going to get more offers on your deals then you're going to make more money quicker, right? If I have one property with one offer on it and I get the same property with five offers on it, which one's going to make more money, right? Five offers all day long. And yep. if I'm selling a $300,000, $400,000 house, if I have five offers, how easy is it for me to go bid that up another five, dollars 10, 15000 right? For the buyer, the percentage of going up five or 10 grand, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But for you as a wholesaler, going from making a $15,000 assignment fee to a $25,000, $30,000 assignment fee, that's like, if you can go from 15 to 30, you literally double your business. It's 100% for you. It might be a couple percent for them. It's a hundred percent for you. So uh, that's the real key. That's the real key is just like, you know, having a system where you can have everything organized and drive demand for the deals. So you're not leaving money on the table and you're making more money per deal and doing that quicker. And when you can get that done, the results are incredible. The last four companies I worked with, like consulting with, all four of them, broke a million dollars a month in their first year using this and two of the four broke two million a month in assignment fees earned per month not per year two million per month in assignment fees earned um within the first year that they were on investor left so that just shows you what you can do and that's with very small teams the last team that did that did that with only seven guys in their team mm. so think yeah. about the net margins on that it would have been crazy. So that that's kind of kind of a brief overview of, of what we do at Investor. It's just trying to put more money in your pocket and do it faster. Yep. No, I think it's important that people understand. Again, there's the hustle, right? You can go into the Facebook groups and you can go find the buyers in the Facebook groups. What he's saying is they're already in a database. You don't need to go find the buyers. They're there. Now, depending upon the level, and at, you have three levels, four levels? Yeah, three levels. Three levels. You might have to do a little work and skip trace them, but you're going to have to do that anyways. And there's free ways to skip trace. You can skip trace right in the system. You can, you know, skip trace for paid companies. But the reality is this will change your game in general. I just, while wow. on this call, I got a text from one of my best students. He says, hey, doing a deal in a market I've never been in. Do you have buyers here? As you were talking, brother, I swear I just replied, sure do. I don't know how many are there, but I know they're an investor lift, right? Can I pick up the phone right now and just call one buyer to sell it? Probably not. I'm going to have to use investor lift because this top student of mine is doing virtual wholesaling. He doesn't know any buyers in the area and we're going to rock. And, and should, But that's we, the power of- Should we check? Yeah, let's go. Give me the city name. Give me the city name. Can I share screen? Is that cool? Yeah. Let's check how many buyers you have. So this is yeah. the beautiful thing. Now, mind you, Justin's on the the, the Rolls Royce plan. So he's got 4.5 million locked and loaded with emails, phone numbers, and everything. Yep. Um, all right. Give me the city. What's the city? The city is Gastonia, which is a suburb of Charlotte. So I don't know if you want to look up Charlotte. Right, Charlotte. Or Charlotte, North Carolina. So you, you got 4.5 million, and then we're going to put it in Charlotte here. The, so the beautiful thing about investors is that all the buyers are geotagged for theirs mm -hmm. to invest. And when people register, they put in the areas that they invest in, and then we can slice. We've got 55,000 buyers here. That's a boatload, dude. It's a boatload. Yeah. Now, let's do some math here. So if you're building your buyers list on your own, and let's say you're skip tracing, calling, whatever, it's going to take you 15 minutes to find one buyer and get them on the phone and get their email and get their buy box. 
So you're going to be building like a good discipline manager is going to be building like four buyer profiles per hour. So if we take this and we say that our discipline manager is doing four an hour, it would take 13 and a half thousand hours to do that. So let's say we had someone a building buyers list nonstop for eight hours per day. It would take 1700 days to do that to build that list. And then let's say they're working 340 days, let's say per, per year. I don't know how many working days there are in per year, but let's just say 340. That's um, five years. It would take five years of someone working nonstop, building four app buyer profiles per hour to build a buyer's list that, that big. And you got it here with one search. You, you must be, you must That's do this. Hour. Because the funny thing is my girl, one of my girls yesterday gets added eight buyers to our investor lift through her normal workflow. But that was in an eight hour day. And she added eight. And so you had it yeah. right on, which is roughly every four hours, you can create four profiles and, and goes that route. And so um, now, I didn't even know how many buyers were in you know, the area that I was going to be able to target. Uh, but 54,000, I'm pretty sure we're going to, as long as it's a deal. So here's the other thing, like one, one cautionary tale, like you can't just contract a property at any yeah. price you want and bring it into investor lift and it's going to sell. You need to have some expectation here of like people and companies. Like I just saw open doors already and DR Horton's a builder. I mean, there, there's real companies that will buy stuff. You just need to make sure it's at the right price. Like, you know, we were just talking about is Robert said, you know, the values created on the buy. Well, you need to make sure you know how to negotiate, you know how to find the deal and then give the right price. So I'm pretty darn certain. Yeah. As long, and I don't even know what he contracted it for. He just said, hey, I just got my first deal out here in this area. Do you have a buyer? And I'm like, yeah. I mean, he could have literally said almost in any market. And I'm going to say yes, because of how many buyers I have in my investor lift account. One of the cool tools we're building right now. So we're building um, our first AI that's going to launch is going to take any address in America and it will output the statistical problem. You, you take an address and a price point and it'll output the statistical probability that it will sell at mm. that price point. That's a real estate investor. Yeah. That's so th that's going to be good because, you know, I, I see that's where beginners are screwed up a lot is they're just not buying stuff deep enough. Right. That's and right. that's why we kind of had a wholesaling winter, November through January. Because yep. interest rates, rates went up. So that decreased, that didn't put downward pressure on prices for buyers and buyers are always looking six months ahead and sellers were looking six months behind. So while we were waiting for sellers' expectations to come down, buyers' expectations were already down here, and guys weren't getting the deals deep enough. Yep. So there was a mismatch in the market. Now the sellers have started to come down. Like uh, last month, we generated more offers on investment than ever before in history from buyers. So the buyers are back. But Simon Fees dropped down under 20K for the first time ever um, on investor lift. Uh, in december this year they went down to like i think 19.8 or 19.9 um but last month they, they bounced back up 13.9k that's my average across the country so the buyers are well, back and so i want back. i also wanted to help you guys understand like i just bought a deal from investor lift and what i mean by that is i the buyer got an email and i don't even know this wholesaler got an email and i'm buying it from i gave them my price i, I what did he want? I think he wanted like 95. My number was 80. I gave him the offer 80. We met at 82 five. And so the point is, even if you're not just only wholesaling, or maybe you wholesale a little bit, the utility of this and being on the application is going to find you deals as a buyer, you're going to be able to sell the deals you don't want. I just told you about a student that literally just texts me right now. He got his deal accepted. He says, I need a buyer. Do you have one? I say, yes. I didn't go pay for that deal. I spent no marketing budget for that deal. Now he is a student. But that's where you can go find a network of other investors that are marketing and saying, hey, you don't need investor lift. 
or, or whatever, I have the buyers. You don't even have to say the words investor lift. You just say, I have the buyers, right? Because you do now, yeah. right? And so it's definitely, here's one thing I'd like to do. I know you're very short on time, brother. And I'd really greatly appreciate you spending some time with me. We need to do this again. We just uploaded oh, a video yesterday. Let's, let's, um, Let's even see what you my team is doing. It? Yeah, let's take a look at the deal. Dude, Yesterday we uploaded. I would it. love to do that. Let's let's take a look. What's my one team of the doing? things that you know? One of the things I love to do is sell deals live. So I've done it four times now. I like to do it like at least once a month. It's like good for me to like get in the product and use the product. Yeah. Um, so last four times I've done it, I've been able to sell the deals live in under an hour and a half. So if you're interested, we should come back and do that. A lot of fun. Do we live should do calls that for sure. Live. Take it from, from A all the way to Z. All the way to Z. Like people who are like, oh yeah, like like I sold a deal in two days. This is that fast? I'm like, two days? That's kind of a little slow, actually. I'm like, I like two hours better. Two hours at or above ask. As long as you got good photos, videos, and and your price right, you can you can really move these stuff, this stuff fast. All right. So let's take a look at this deal. Um, Tulsa, okay, 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 so you don't have dollar signs here. That's good because dollar signs in the title, this is going to be the e email subject line that could potentially push you over to, to spam. Um, spelling there on potential, I think. I don't, how do you spell potential? I don't know. Yeah, I'm missing uh, T. Potential burger or flip. Okay, I think this is fine. Yeah, the title is fine. Um, I would maybe what I can, I'd like to do if I can is I like to lead with money opportunity in the title as much as i can if you can if it makes sense on the deal so if it's like a quick and easy flip with 200k gross spread like that's that would be my title if it's a that. great rental with 15 cap that's my title i'm like you know i'd be like tulsa oklahoma uh 15 cap rental great neighborhood right. whatever right. uh so this is good okay. ba -ba Very long description. Is that good or bad? Got it for 60, selling for 79. Well, let's see what you're open right now. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Uh, this stuff, all this like template stuff, yeah. you can put under your settings. You can put this under your settings okay. and it'll just automatically add it to every deal. It's Got under it. Dispo settings. There's a disclaimer and it'll, you can have that for the emails or for the... Um, notifications just uh, when you do add disclaimers watch the wording because if you stuff with like cash and money and like words like that that can and you're you're putting that as a disclaimer on your emails that can start pushing you to promotions and spam and you would have a, a lower click click rate um, how's our email rate right uh, let me now? look at your notifications uh it's it's okay like yeah yeah it's a little low so here's how here's how i get it up higher um so when you go to blast it, you're just doing one blast here. You're going to have much better results if you break this up, right? So what I would do is uh, you got cartel mode. So turn on cartel mode, grab your cities, your counties, right? Start with just VIPs. Okay. Because mm -hmm. what's going to happen in here? So you got 1,112 VIPs. That means they have bought a deal on InvestorLift in the city from you or from someone else on the network. Mm. Okay, so this is the best 1,100 people. Now, how it works with, um, with email sends is if you send out a lot of emails all at once in one block, what happens is the email service providers, they kind of audition your content first. So they'll, they'll, they'll start putting in a few inboxes and see what kind of engagement it gets. This is getting a lot of clicks. And if it doesn't get a lot of clicks, they're like, oh, this is marketing junk. Let's put it all in promotions. And it all right. goes in promotions or it could go even to spam, which is like the worst, right? So the, the best buyers are going to be the most engaged with your emails. So what I like to do is start off with them. So I'll Got hit it. my VIPs first, okay? So that would be a pro tip. I might even go and just even go even smaller because even a thousand is a lot. I might go increase the minimum score and go hit just just the very top VIPs first. Yep. Then wait a couple hours. Then do another one, another bigger blast. So and sometimes all you would do, do is go blasts. over I'll to do one with like. 
you just move that right go ahead all you yeah, would do is you do a blast of 726 and then wait an hour or two and then open it up a little bit yeah i would probably try to get that first blast under 500 yeah so i would increase this minimum let's see 2000 is that this under 500 the first blast i want really small i don't want the very best guys yeah so around like that um so i would schedule that i would use the scheduling tool and i would schedule that um to go out 7 10 maybe a little early i like to you know get it they're coming to the office around like nine most people so like that eight to nine windows is pretty good see i'd roll into the, their inboxes eight to nine then do another blast a couple hours later wider you don't have to worry about the same buyer getting the same email if, if you've gotten the email you can't the system will filter them out of the next blast if you're hitting that same list within the 72 hours okay so Got it's it. actually impossible to send the same buyer the same deal so you don't have to worry the system's handing all that the exclusions and slicing and dicing your list all for you um on all pellet in the background okay so that's the first thing i would do on the blast um, the next thing I would do is make sure your team really understands how to use hot buyers. So this is a, a new feature, uh, that we just introduced to the system. What happened is I was trying to move a really tough deal for a friend. It was a mobile home park in the middle of nowhere in Florida. Mm. And I'm like, you know what, this will be the content. We'll film it. If we can sell this, that shows we can sell freaking you know, anything. So um, I go on InvestLift and I spend probably, I would say um, five hours working the deal, right? And after five hours, I only have five buyer leads. Mm. Not that great. Right. Right. Like this thing is really tough, really tough to move. And then I was thinking about it. I'm like, how can I use my like me being CEO of investor of having access to all this data to like work more efficiently here. And I was thinking about it and I was like, okay, on the bottom of each deal, we have this whole nearest deals and we have deals sold nearby. What if I just popped into accounts and looked at who bought these deals that were sold nearby and called those guys. Mm -hmm. So I started popping into accounts and calling those buyers and I'm like, holy shit in five minutes, I got more traction in five minutes than I did in five hours. So you're it's just, just going like to the, the biggest freaking and saying, I'm going to go call those buyers. Yeah. If they bought something down the street on InvestLift two months ago, yep. chances are they're going to be interested in my deal. So on hot buyers, sorry, let me log back in here. Um, on hot buyers, the, 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 the cool thing about hot buyers is when you, send out your your email blast what it allows you to do is every single person that hits this deal or any deal um it's going to track all their activity so a buyer is going to open it up what's the first thing they're going to do they're going to go start clicking through the photos mm -hmm. but we track every photo click and they're going to be started to move around on the page they might look at you know photos comps whatever all of those mouse movements, we also track all of those mouse movements, okay? Um, I'll just bring up, um, actually, let me pop back. I'll just bring up one of one of my deals just to show you what it looks like. Um, so if we go into this demo deal, for example, let's take a look at it here. We'll go to hot buyers. So all of these guys are guys that have looked at this deal and i can see how many images they've viewed any actions they take inquiries offers made address requests all their actions and it's going to score these buyers based on how many actions they've taken so as soon as you do your deal blast you come back in here you'll start seeing people hitting your deal they don't even have to mm -hmm. log in that's the really cool part even if they don't yeah. log in we're cooking, we cookied 4.5 million buyers. Um, you'll see them here. And sometimes you can see their profile photo and everything. And yeah. then, so this is your lead list of buyers to work in order from most interested to least interest. So I just come in here, I can text them, I can call them. Um, and I just add a note, like interested, not interested. 
actress or whatever. And I use this and work, work, work these buyers and try to turn these buyers from, you know, just regular guys I've just browsed and viewed my deal to actual buyers that uh, are making offers on my deal. But here's, here's the next thing that you have on your account. So this is on the two higher, higher levels of the master lift is we have the saying it's called, we call it Artemis mode where, okay, not only can you see it on your deal, but on the higher plans, look, I can click on these deals sold nearby. Like this deal is right here. A few blocks over, there's a deal sold nearby. And I can go see everyone that looked at that deal. All yep. of the people that interact wow. with it. That's so sick. this is this and is that's the, all under hot such buyers. a hack. Yeah. It's all under hot buyers. Like think that about how how much faster that is. That is such a hack, dude. That is awesome. See? It just I knew we were doing this training for something. The time it takes. Yeah, right? How sick is that? Dude, that is sick. I'm literally going to call my team right now and say, do you work the hot buyers on this Tulsa deal? It's not sold yet. I'm actually, while you were just talking, oh, I'm yeah. texting my manager, Anthony. I'm like, did it get sold so I can say it on the on the call? And he hasn't replied. But uh, yeah, dude, Tell this is incredible. The properties nearby. Yeah. Under hot buyers and property nearby. And then in it'll have the buyers that viewed those properties. And then we can call them. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. So Everything sold nearby. You're going to see if, if someone bought a deal nearby, you're going to see their contact info there. 100%. So it, it's the whole idea with the best of, we, we call them best of cartel for reasons. Cause we're always working together. The system is designed for us to share information amongst each other to give us an advantage on buyers, to be honest. I'm sorry if you're a buyer and listening to this, but my clients that pay us money are wholesalers. So we're working for the wholesalers and working for the wholesalers but here's, by helping them work together to ha actually have bargaining power. And, and there should be an angle you bring to your marketing team, bro. Like I'm a buyer on there. I'm the difference between the real buyers and like not real buyers, meaning wholesalers. I will just make an offer to a wholesaler. Hey, good job getting the deal. I love it. Your number, like I just told you, their number was, I think, 95. I was like, I'm at 80. I can't pay more than 80 for this property. Um, and we settled at 82.5. And so essentially, like, I'm a buyer on here. I will just offer. If I can't buy your deal because you don't have the margins, it's okay. You're not going to hurt my feelings. But I'll still give you the offer. And, and you might want to even talk to your marketing team about even, like, that appeal to real buyers. Like, be, you know, anyways. Yeah. Um, getting off track. So I know you said you wanted anyone watching this and listening to this, you wanted to give them an opportunity to get a discount if they were interested in doing this. How do they get that discount? Absolutely. So guys, if you're watching this and you want to get plugged in on Investif, go to get G-E-T dot investorlift.com slash Justin. Okay, just go there. And anyone that signs up through that link, when you sign up, you're going to get 10% off, uh, off of investor lift. So, uh, 600 bucks a year. And, um, and if you sign up today, I think our next onboarding is next Tuesday. So next Tuesday, uh, we're going to do a group onboarding where we're onboard everyone from this call and get you trained up. Uh, my brother, my COO is going to be running that call. He'll show exactly how to use the system. A to Z. So literally when you get off that call, you'll be ready to post your, your, your first deal and sell your first deal that day. Love that. So get dot investorlift.com forward slash Justin, yep. and that will get them 10% yep. off. Correct. And on, on any one of the plans, off. is that correct? Uh, just on the beginner plan, everyone okay. starts on the beginner plan. If you are doing more than a hundred thousand dollars in assignment fees per month though, just email our team, support at investorlift.com. Um, let us know because we would be happy to discuss the higher plans, you know, plans like cartel and lieutenant that, that Justin has. So get.investorlift.com, come in here. Um, oh, you know what? I think they need a coupon code. Shit. I want to say it's TSOF. Go TSOF. TSOF. There we go. Yeah, there you go. TSOF. Put in the coupon, coupon code, code TSOF. TSOF. And that will save you almost 600 bucks. There you go. Well, Robert, I know we ran a little over. I greatly appreciate your time, dude. And by the way, we are going to have to do another one of these calls uh, and sell a deal live. I love that idea. 
Uh, so let's do that. It could be one of my deals. It could be one of my students, whatever, whatever we do, let's, let's find time to do that, brother. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Thanks for having me on, Justin. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks.